so let's go in and try to recreate that okay so this is our front face and we want hinges on all four edges so we won't select any of them so we'll continue we'll go around and select the right side the left side so that's now separated those two leaving the two hinges in the front now we want to separate the back from the front so we select this top edge we're not going to um, select this edge because we want the back to be connected to the bottom and the bottom to be connected to the front so there we go okay so now that we've got our edges selected I want you to pay attention up here in the vertex maps under texture when I hit ABF unwrap you can see a UV map named unwrap is created now this is very very important if you want to continue creating um, UVs of, of, of various objects and from to all end up in the one UV map you have to leave it named unwrap that way you can go back and edit and edit, edit any edits or any changes that you make will be associated to this UV map containing them all in the same map now say you want to for some reason save this UV map and start on a new one you basically just go ahead and rename it and we'll just name it one now if I drop the selection and well in fact what I'll do is is I'll select all of them and I'll hit unwrap and now what happens is well first of all we get this weird unwrap but um, basically a new a new UV map has been created because it always wants to create a UV map in a UV map called unwrap okay so if now I wanted to go back and continue working back in this object I'd have to rename this back to unwrap okay in this situation I've got six sort of tubes tubes really sh short fat tubes but the thing about them is that they're symmetrical so you can still create UVs by um, using symmetry when we turn our symmetry on and if I select these edges here basically we're going to unwrap and um, separating from this edge and if we hit unwrap you notice that it's created or six of the um, UVs in one go now another thing to point out if you want to move these UVs around after you use symmetry strongly recommend that you turn it off because if you don't and you move it weird stuff happens if you turn symmetry off then you can reposition them and scale them up and I'll do that really quick but I'll fast forward it. Okay, so now what we can do is if we use our pick surface, we can go in there and select UV and we're going to use the unwrap. We use the unwrap for all of them and we'll put a color checker box on there. Use texture. And as you can see now that all of our little short tubes have been textured. Now one thing to notice, which is really, really important, and you'll see a bit later on I've got another example, but the idea of doing UV maps and getting them correct is so that there is no distortion. When we use these checker boxes and all these color patterns, the reason we're doing it is that we're checking to make sure that there's no distortion and I'll show you an example of that later the other thing that's important to remember is when we're dealing with sub patch objects in this case these are not but over here in the vertex maps next to our unwrap UV map you'll notice over here we've got sub patch we've got a selection we can either choose linear or sub patch they're the two that I use I don't sort of really bother with the others so if we set it to linear, basically that's uh, polygon mode. If we hit tab, you'll notice that our objects 
a uh, sub patched but our UV map does not but if we select sub patch you'll now notice that they're both um, sub patched and it does make a difference um, when you've got a sub patched object to have the UV in sub patch mode okay so that's how we do multiple boxes what we've got here is a toroid and it's upside down so basically there's a couple of ways that we can um, UV map this and the most obvious is let's just split it in half and as well as that we need so it's going to it's going to come out this way but we also need it to come out flat so we'll just select I'm just selecting a couple of um, edges and hitting select loop I believe it is so now what we're doing is that we're chopping it in half here and splitting it down the middle so let's take a look at that and the cool thing is if it's wrong and you didn't get it right for example I'll just select some more some more stuff and we hit you go oh okay well that's a little bit weird it's simple just control Z undo it okay and do it again okay so now there was another tool here I'll just go to polygon mode there's another plugin called relax PLG relax and I haven't mentioned that yet um, what this does is well as you can see here the UV map is quite distorted and what uh, relax helps to do is to get rid of some of that distortion so if we hit relax now I'm not 100% sure what these things do here but I've tried most of them and it didn't really make any difference if you know what it does maybe you can let me know but simply just hit OK and you'll notice that it basically took out most of the, defam de the um, deformation or the um, the warping of it so another way to go about the UV mapping something like this let's for example just say this is a really w awesomely modeled wheel so what we can do is is we can go in ed edge mode we'll just select that select a couple of edges here and here select loop now you, now you can see what I'm trying to do here here's the side walls and here's our tread but we're not done yet because we need to separate the side from the inner part so we'll go in select a couple of those edges there and a couple more there I'm not sure if I'm gonna if it's spot on or not no it's not Okay, I believe it's that one there. Okay, so now we've got our side walls, we've got our inner wall, and we've got our outer wall. However, our inner walls are still connected, so what we need to do is we need to split that in half, and while we're at it, we'll split. So basically what we're creating is one long strip for our tread, another long strip for our inner part of the rim, and two side walls for our tread. So basically we go ahead now and unwrap that, and this is what we get. Once again you can relax it. And what I've done is, is I've created an image here's one I prepared earlier so what I'll do is, is I'll just match these up to this image because obviously this image was uh, created in Photoshop based on a UV map that I was testing with so I'll just go ahead and do this and I'll fast forward it okay so I've matched up our various parts of our UV map 
to these images they're not perfect this is just to uh, give you an idea I'm going to use my pick color and I'm going to go in and I'm going to set it to UV unwrap and I'm going to set that image and if we have a look I mean this was a two second job but you can see the idea behind it we've got our side walls UV'd and we've got our tread obviously somewhere here in the UV map right here there's no texture behind it there's only white so that's why we're getting white in there but anyway you'd obviously make that a lot more accurate when you're in Photoshop okay let's really quickly now have a look at how we UV a ball and it's pretty simple once again edge select select a couple of edges and hit I think it's select connected rather than select loop and that creates a seam for example if this was a head in the back of the head we hit unwrap and there's our UV and what we can do is we can relax it and you'll notice now when we relax it it makes a huge difference if you look at these polygons over here they're quite wide and as it gets in it gets tighter when we hit um, relax you can see now that it spaces it out a little bit better once again we'll select our surface and put the UV on it and we'll use the color check it close that off and there we have it as you can see it kind of does pinch it in a little bit but it doesn't really distort the squares they're not stretching and skewing they're reasonably undistorted so that's how we do our ball when working with something like this the idea here is to create seams in areas that will be hidden for example on the inside of the legs under the bottom part of the arm under the arm and along the side because when your characters um, in the scene and the arms are down and stuff they're the areas that are less likely to be seen it's basically when you create a UV map the, the areas that um, are going to be really obvious you want to sort of be continuous so that the UV map doesn't have any funny seams so what I'll do is, is I'll go ahead now and I will select the edges required to basically create a complete UV map of separating the pants, the feet, the hands, the arms, the head and the leg and I'll do that and I'll fast forward as I'm doing it so I won't bore you through that process. okay as you can see what I've done is is I've created a whole bunch of um, seams pretty much same as you would probably find in clothing as it's actually manufactured so you've got this whole area now is going to be unwrapped from the bottom going up the hands going to be split the bottoms going to come out forward okay we're going to have our front part of our torso, the rear part of our torso, and the two legs and some feet. So let's have a look if I've done it correctly. If not, it doesn't matter. We can always go ahead and fix it. Let's hit unwrap. And by the looks of it, it looks really good. So we'll go into polygon mode. What I want to do is I want to relax them. Okay. And I will, well, first of all, if you see here, if you have a look here you can see that it's set to linear so we'll set that the sub patch because our object is a sub patch and we'll just pack it okay so there we have it that's done so what we can do now is we can texture it 
same process as before let's just use checkers and hit OK and as you can see we get a pretty decent job we do get a little bit of stretching here what I might actually do is I might just unrelax it and if we unrelax it you'll notice that we get a we get less deformation and I will pack it okay but all in all we get a pretty decent UV we are getting a little bit of stretching down here but basically you get the general idea